Hey, welcome to my kitchen well, everyone. I've been running out of paper, so I thought I might experiment with baking paper. It takes pencils, felts, felt tip markers and paint much better than I expected it to. You can trace with it, you can transfer images with it, you can pick up texture with it, and you can work directly onto it. You, can even... you could trace a shadow from your window, or a picture from a book. On um, baking paper, which is pretty cheap at the supermarket, um, and I'm finding it quite interesting. I'll just do a little sample there. So I'm using a watercolour pencil and then just taking a brush and just using it like I would on watercolour paper. It has an interesting effect that it, because it's not as absorbent, it bubbles up the paper a little bit. But it'll create some interesting effects. That's what I've been doing here. It's in it creating these lovely effects on these leaves of this tracing that I've taken off my window, a shadow cast on my window. You could try crushing the paper. This is paint and felt tips on crushed baking paper. Try still life directly onto your baking paper. You can start by drawing a sketch roughly from your still life and then colouring it in. There you go.